Hello and welcome back to another installment of Northern Coins. I greatly appreciate you watching all my uploads. So today we have got a bit of silver. And as you can see, the first one, I've done these uh, a few times, I've got a few of these now. It's a, this is a 1902 half crown, Edward, that's Edward the uh, Seventh, and it's 92.5% uh, silver. As you can see, it's a half crown there. There's the date at the bottom, just make it out under this glare. Nice shield on this as well, I really do like this. Hopefully the Royal Mint, when they're doing the great engravers, they'll consider doing something with these as well. I do really like these. And it was designed by George Williams de Solis. I think it's, that's how you pronounce his name. So really nice coin that. A bit of silver as well. And this is the main boy. This is the British trade dollar. Really is a beautiful coin. And it was minted between 1895 and 1935. As you can see there at the bottom, it's 1911. 1911 had a mintage figure of 37,470,509. And the mint mark is a B, but I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up on this. It's where the trident is. No, it's not, is it? Yeah, can't see. It's the middle prong. So if you've got one of these, you want to see where your uh, your mint mark is. It's on the trident. It's the middle uh, fork. And it's got a letter B that stands for Bombay. So, and this is 90% silver. And on the back, it has uh, Chinese and Arabic. And it stands for, I believe it's $1. So really is a nice design this coin. It should weigh 26.95 grams, diameter of 39 millimeters, thickness is 2.7. And again, uh, the engraver of this coin was George W. De Solis. But if it doesn't have a mint mark on a trade dollar, it was minted in London, that the London mint. If it has a C, it was minted at uh, the uh, Calcutta Mint. And these coins were mainly used in Hong Kong. Also as well, you can find them with uh, chop marks on them as well. That was to indicate if they were um, silver, which this isn't. But this, for me, is a bit suspicious because of how clean it is. It may have been clean because you can see some marks on there but uh, for me it looks a bit suspicious I'll do the test with a magnet first well we've got this one so if I can see it there let's put it there see how slow that that moves down if I did it right see how slow that moves down so that's definitely silver and then this one if I can See what I mean? It really flies off. So, suspicious. I don't have any calipers. So I can't really um, test the uh, the width and the uh, the thickness of it. I'll get me uh, scales. Put them there. Put that there. Hopefully you can see that now. It's coming up. It's set on grams, so this should be 26.95 grams. 20.9 so that's way under that's 20 well nearly 27 gra well no 26 grams shy so I think this is a, uh, a fake off the two tests I've done now the guy wanted 50 pound for this I said I'd take it off him but uh, I haven't paid it I haven't paid him I said I'd pay him next time but looking on eBay and other sales blah 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 anything up to between 70 and 300 pounds for one of these coins so I can well imagine a lot of fakes certainly coming out of China like I said this is in my uh, suspicions were well and truly not f uh, founded on this so in my opinion that's a fake so I'll be taking that back to him having a chat with him <coughs> also as well I picked up a really rough 
KG4, as you can see. No date, no nothing. I didn't pay anything for this. I found it in a bit of a, a bin. It just about make out Britannia there, can't you? So that is a really rough, rough coin. Obviously, I'd like to get better ones than that. So anyway, what's your thoughts on that one? The trade dollar. 90% silver though, I believe. It's probably got a bit of silver in, but probably only got about 10%, if that. And then obviously the half crowns. These are well worth picking up. You can pick these up for a few quid, these. Not much, £20, something like that, for a bit of silver. You can start stacking up like that. So there we go. That's that one done. So, uh, thanks for watching it this far. And um, hopefully... Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you've been watching You Decide, because we're coming to the end. I think we've only got two more to upload, and then we'll be doing a go. So, please, if you haven't already, watch them. You've got to watch all of them to uh, stand a chance of winning. And um, and the last one I do, I show you the coins you could win. And please, 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 if you do like this, hit that thumb, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. So this is Northern Coin saying bye, bye now and take care. Bye.